All right, so I got a total of 12 runs in, in what you're about to watch. I only put maybe like four or five runs in here. Um, some good, some bad, whatever. That being said, I am not a drag racer, so try to remember that when, I'm, when you're watching this before you go crazy on me. I could literally bake you a cake, pizzas in between my shifts. I totally get it. Um, I'm just trying to have a good time with the car, and that is basically what these videos are going to be about, is the continuation of this car and hopefully some better drag times. So that being said, hopefully you enjoy it. Um, I'm going to try to make the next drag video a bit different, but I'll tell you that afterwards. All right, this is the first run. We're just doing just wastegate. 10 pounds. I've been drag racing like 17 years. I don't even know what I'm doing. My heart is racing 100 miles an hour right now. I don't care if I win, lose. I just don't want her not to break. And uh, just do okay. I'm just going to ease out like I'm coming from a stoplight. Nothing more. lit the tires up like I got nothing that was a fucking riot that was awesome oh wow be a little more gentle she wanted a wheel hop real bad I might put some air out of the tires I don't know that was crazy Alright, so it's the next day after the drag strip. <clears throat> I had a lot of problems with, I changed the wastegate spring out from the one that was making eight pounds in the last dyno session to the 10 pound spring, and the car hooked up more on the track over and over, so the duty cycle of Max Illinois was fighting me the entire day. Um, I should have just left the eight pound spring and let it be, but I was trying to see if I can get a little bit of extra spool out of the 10 pound spring. I know the Honda has got quick spool, but I was just trying something. And nonetheless, I was battling the duty cycle back and forth on the track all day. I'd get a good pull, it would grip a little bit better in third, and then I would hit boost cut. It went back and forth. It was just fighting me all back, all day. But either way, so I'm going to take that back out, put the eight pounds spring back in because in the street, I can hook at eight pounds, and 10 pounds is like a 50 50 shot. Um, really dependent on whether the eight pound I permit you to hook all the time. 
in seconds. So I'm gonna put that back in and just leave that again, also for my autocross days. I don't need it to, I don't need any more boost if I don't want it basically. Um, I'm also going to open the catch can. I'm gonna drain that out and along with changing the oil. The catch can, I'm curious, I'll show you to see how much oil it actually does have in it. So it's got a good solid, you know, I don't know, at least maybe another 15, 16 dyno pulls on that can. Um, I can't tell you how many countless pulls on the street. It's got uh, 12 dyno, or it's got 12 drag strip passes. So we're just gonna see how much oil that actually did collect. And uh, all right, so we're gonna start with the wastegate, take that off, it's pretty simple. Um, it's just the, the only thing that makes it not simple, it's just, this needs to come off, that needs to come off, take the dump tube out, and the, it'll come out. The only hassle is since I'm running coolant lines to it, I'm gonna have to disconnect my two coolant lines, and thus coolant will fall on the floor, and I'll have to relive the system a little bit. If I didn't run coolant lines, which was the top mount, this wastegate would be four seconds to change. It's not hard, but it'll take me a little bit just on that sake. So let me just get started. So just like that, I mean, so wastegate's out now. About to change the spring, oil's draining. This was the yellow spring, which I want to say everything that I've been doing, all springs. I'll pull the spring chart up. Every spring I've thrown in here so far has been basically to the T, two psi above whatever it's rated for. So yellow is rated for seven point two five. So just on wastegate. It basically made it made 10 flat um i can tell you this the red spring was rated for uh, what does it say 5.8 and it made 7.8 i'm just rounding it to eight um so again i'm gonna put this back in here uh that way in the event when i do get to go to autocross i can basically just turn the boost controller off and run just from this spring and just let that be it this generating almost 10 um once well, it generated 10 and third but it's fine, but on the street, again, it sometimes it hooks. It's really temperature, you know, if it's a little too cold out and the tires aren't warm and the concrete's cold, it just uh, it just likes to spin. Eight, pretty much in 60 degree weather, 50 degree weather, it still wanted to hook. So we're gonna go back with this. I'm just gonna kind of gently look here, make sure there's no like rips, tears, still looks fine. And uh, yeah, we'll just reinstall. And not only will I reinstall it, we can kind of, it's gonna be maybe kind of hard to see on the camera. I'll hope it, comes through a little bit but this is the chart we were building on the dyno so I know the first dyno that I went and did we were good second dyno we were also good but I said hey can we plot this out because it's kind of a pain on the street just to you know keep doing pulls so basically 30% duty cycle was the minimum we can give it and it gave me 7.8 pounds of boost um second number we gave it was 40% duty cycle it gave us eight and five eight seven and then 45 so forth 10 or 9.8 50, 11, 6, to 10, 6. Now, this is where it started getting a little different. If you notice, the numbers start to change. 60%, 11 and a half, 12. Uh, I got a little crazy over there. But if you see, like, where it's the 70, it's the 16 and 14.5. 75 gave us 17.5 or 16. We wrote two of them down. Essentially, when we got off the dyno, the street loaded a bit more and started giving me more boost. Um, so we wrote both, but I already have that map saved. So I'm just going to re reopen that up, re you know, load that. And that's what I'm going to drive on. With the 10 pound spring, I didn't give myself enough time. To do that on the street, I really didn't give myself any time to do it on the street. Just went right to the dyno, right to the track, and I was chasing it the whole time. I kind of wrote something down. Basically, the spring it made ten point five, I guess. Uh, Fifty six percent gave me fourteen point six. Sixty six percent gave me sixteen point seven. Is so what I got. But uh, there was times where I had sixty six percent duty cycle on the track, and it was good, good. I'd hit like seventeen pounds, and a couple times it would hook real well in third, and it would hit eighteen pounds. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna go back to the red spring, and we're gonna go from there. Alright, so this line's still attached to it. I'm gonna try to just take out the drain plug here. It's a little difficult to do where it's at inside the car. Let's just see how much comes out of it. I expect quite a bit. I mean, I don't really have a good estimate on pulls. I say not really a good one. I mean, I've got an estimate, I guess, but it's really just a a random number. There's got to be at least 60 some odd pulls in this thing. Between dyno, again, the, uh, just everything. Let's hold it sideways a little bit. Let's see what we got here. Oh yeah. There you go. So it definitely, uh, 
So before when I entered the can before, I was a little concerned with like seeing like this nasty milky stuff, but it's not actually in the oil. Like it's not in the, let's see if I can, like you can see where I just poured it, but the rest of it is literally all the oil that's in. There's no coolant inside of the uh, oil at all. I think just it's just nasty oil and I'm not gonna lie to you, I got a little frightened the first time. I was like, oh my God, <laughs> what's happening? But uh, that seems like it's actually pretty normal. Uh, it's probably just from the oil just kind of sitting inside of here. Uh, in the can, the aluminum just absorbing, just sitting, doing nothing, uh, just being gross. So, uh, yeah, so there you go. So if you want to know, I, I mean, again, I think I already reiterated it, but on this can alone, we've got at least, at least like 20 dyno pulls, 12 track hits, and then another, uh, I don't know, a thousand miles just beating on it. So I don't know. We've probably got 20, 30, uh, again, I'm going to say at least 60 full-blown pulls, and a lot of the street testing, I just do just third gear pulls, going into fourth, just messing around. There's quite a bit on this, so I, I don't know if that's normal or not. Someone else let me know. The car runs great and everything, so I'm assuming that's just normal and that is what it is. And it pushes some oil um, at that point, and yeah. All right, so my overall best ET of the day was a 9.107. My best 60 foot was a 2279, and my best mile per hour was a 9118. So most of my... Uh, Going through the traps, I was basically hitting 90 miles an hour. I was, I was running on the limiter in third, and I was having to pedal it, which I tried to show some of the tack. I was having to pedal it a lot, up into about 40 miles an hour. I screwed up by changing the wastegate spring, so my whole boost by gear table was completely trash. So as of right now, filming this, my eight pound spring is back in the car. Uh, I've done some runs in the street. We are good. Um, boost is good. Everything's cool. So next time I'll be able to actually tweak that. And I've actually increased my quick spool, and it does not over boost the car. So I don't know if I said it earlier or not, but we're building 2,000 RPMs. We're building max boost 2,000 RPMs earlier than what I was on the dyno pull. So I'm building boost much earlier and it stays stable. Mixture of probably the quick spool and the leak um, that I fixed. So I am opting to buy some Lenzos, 13 to seven halves, 13 by seven and a halves with some 23 inch tires. That's what I've come to the conclusion of. Um, I've come to that conclusion because I mainly want it so I don't have to swap a ride height suspension back and forth. So that's why I'm going to buy those. Um, yeah, there's a lot of work I need on 60 foots. Uh, I had some wheel hop that I had to get through. I messed with lowering tire pressure, blah, blah, blah. I just wanted you to get the idea of what that is. So what I'd like is any people that do watch this, any comments or anything down in the comments below, please put them there. Any comments that you have, questions or anything. Um, I'm going to try to show the next video. The next drag strip time is going to be a little bit more something that I don't normally do. I'm gonna try it, I can't make a promise, but maybe it'll be a little more of a, a, a vloggish experience, maybe from the start of the day to the end of the day. So I can take it through every change that I do. So if I mess with the suspension, I'm gonna change the suspension on camera um, and then have that run followed by uh, tire pressure. I'll tweak it on camera, blah, blah, blah. I did not do that this time. Uh, it's the first time in literally like 17 years that I've ever been on a drag strip and not that I was good then. This is just, again, something that I just wanted to try. So. That being said, hopefully this was entertaining enough for you now. Uh, I have a lot to work on. I'm totally aware of that. Um, and I am curious, anybody else's power? So knowing that I made like 340 uh, wheel, probably a bit more than that with the building more boost earlier, but curious, anybody that does do eighth mile stuff, uh, curious what your guys' trap speeds are. I know my ET is garbage, and I know the 60 foot is garbage, uh, but the trap speed I'm guessing shows, uh, from what I've looked at, should be like a mid sevens. Um, so the goal next time, one of the goals is, besides messing with slicks and everything else, I'm going to definitely try to maybe short shift into, short shift third a little bit. Hopefully second can hook, and I can give it a little bit more boost, and I'm going to short shift third so I can let fourth go and not have to run, out of the run, run into the, the limiter because fourth will be able to build boost pretty quickly, especially at higher RPMs and with quick spool, blah, blah, blah. And the turbo's tiny enough, it'll spool instantaneously, especially now. So, again, curious what anybody else's wheel horsepower is. If you're in the similar range... Um, what your trap speeds are in the eighth. Even if you're running on the quarter, just what is your eighth trap speed? Just out of curiosity. Um, yes, I also would like to run on a quarter. We don't have a quarter mile track within, I think, like four hours of me. But we are surrounded by eighth mile track. So, eighth mile it's going to be. So, again, hopefully this is still keeping people to go. As you can see, my car, it's it's never done. No product is ever done. Um, I don't know what else I'm really going to do besides start drag racing. And i got some other things. And I will take any comments or questions or concerns or tips or whatever in the comments. Just be advised, again, I'm not a drag racer. This is just something to follow me through and see where I start and where I end up finishing here and then obviously future autocross days and whatever else. 
So again, thanks everybody for watching. Stay tuned.